Hi guys, I'm Yaz. And I'm Seth. And welcome to the first ever episode of Pod Ghost. That sounds mad. Yeah, finally, bruv. Finally. How long has it been now? It's been probably about... Bruv, you know what? It's actually been a good couple of months. Because you're thinking yeah. that initially it will be very easy. Of course, yeah. You know, just I'll get a mic, get an artist and just interview them. But, but there's a lot of planning that goes into it yes, as well, man. Yes, It's crazy, yeah. So guys, the first guest we are going to bring on to Pod Ghost is someone that's really close to me, a very, very good friend of mine. Music icon. Music icon, multi award winning, and no stranger to the game. Come on. <laughs> Mumsy Stranger. Yes. My brother. My Welcome, dude. my bro. Mumsy Thank you so you much. Good, bro, yeah, for yeah for man. It's, on. it's cool, man. Anytime it's weird, isn't it? Having, it is, yeah, exactly. Uh, especially Yaz doing this and yourself. <laughs> it's cool, man. But you know what? It's good, man. I think I've not done many pod done many podcasts, so it's interesting, man. Well, I get excited. Ones, I get excited. You have yeah, exactly. to this one, bro. We're gonna get some exclusive yeah. out of him. Let's go. Let's get as much as we can out of him. Let's do it, Mums. You know what, bro? We want to start off by just saying thank you so much for coming on. Definitely. Because I know you're very busy at the minute with all your albums, your tours around the world. You're always busy, bro. I can't even get older. You sometimes. Yeah. It's mad, isn't it? Mad. I, I think it, it, life takes over, man. You know, like music and family. I think. It's underrated. No, of course, time is precious the, to everyone. The man you have yeah. to actually do in a day. There's not enough hours, man, in a 100%. day. 100%. We'll come on to family in a little bit, but bro, we always start off by just simply asking you, bro. When did you get into music? When did you feel like, you know what? I want to be a singer. Yeah. Um, you know what? I don't think, it's not something I remember. Mm. You know, like, it's, it's not, yeah, man, I planned it on Thursday evening. I'm going to become a singer. Yeah, of course. It was never like that. Um, I think when I was younger, um, I would say around the age of 10, yeah. I used to like, just when I used to hear music, I used to get excited. <laughs> you know, like beats. Yeah, not, jump, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And not everyone's like that. Yeah. Some people are dead, innit? They just listen to music and just sit <laughs> yeah, in the yeah, corner. Yeah, exactly. They're Don't not on feel it. it. They're not like yeah. party, you know, like they're not on that vibe. You got, you got to like. Yeah. 100%. Um, I think younger than 10, Bollywood. Come on, everyone watch the good <laughs> old course, Bollywood yeah, yeah, film exactly. at home. Doesn't matter, matter if you're Bangladeshi, no, Pakistani. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't matter where you're from, everyone knew them, man. Of course, you know, yeah. At home. So I think when it, come, when it comes to music, bro, it was just in the house. Yeah. From my brothers, my siblings, they always used to music, you know? And um, that's how I got into it. You know, my brother had a pair of decks. I remember my older brother, middle one. Um, and he used to collect vinyl. Yeah. So, and then eventually, I would say when I started mimicking other singers <laughs> at the time, yeah, yeah. Asha, Sean Paul, Supercat, I started mimicking, you know, just in, you know, like you still like a song and you're like, yo. No, of course, yeah, yeah. And then like, Some vibes it. into it. Yeah, I'm like, hold on a second, it's not sound all right, innit? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, I'm sure yeah. we speak, we've all done that. Yeah. Like my voice is No, you ain't never done that. I could never do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. No, you've never I'm, done I'm that. I'm like a broken <laughs> bass box, but <laughs> at the time you knew, you know what, I sound good. So yeah, then, yeah. then did you think from then, oh, you know what, I'm going to give this a proper good go? And Kind of. Like, it was more like, it was, in, it was more like friends, innit? Of Encouraging. Course, yeah, yeah. People say, oh yeah, do you know what, you're good at that. Yeah, yeah you, know? you got to have good support around you as well. So you, you know when people are telling you, they encourage you, like you're good at something, you know they're not haters. Yeah, of exactly. Course. Yeah, Someone of course. who stays quiet, they yeah. know that, way. Quiet and deadly. Do you know why? I'm not going to help this guy's guy mind. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not going to help him progress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Compliment him. Yeah, exactly. So I think it was that and, I think the main factor was being in East London, man. Oh, no, of course, being yeah. in Plasto, yeah. E1 Tree. Come on. Yeah. That was the one because <laughs> I, I guarantee you, bro, if yeah. I was in Allgate, yeah. you know, where I was born, I was born in time, like, I don't know if I would have got in music, bro. Wow. Yeah, because course, culture yeah. has a lot to do with your upbringing, where you're born, who you're rolling with, of what's course, next yeah. door. You know, stuff like he was definitely next door, but yeah. I'm saying, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, innit? You probably hear him from yeah. your home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Behave. But that's how I. Uh, kind of like got into the like it, liking of music but right. properly yeah um i would say you know school playground school playground okay. um a lot of the um you know jamaican guys that w we went to school yep, with yep. they went to um, rapping mc and they used to call it back in the day yeah. um i remember a really good friend not my friend my older brother's friend his name was andre yeah we used to call him dre not the actual dr dre yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. he actually taught me how to 
engineer, you know, like uh, Fruity Loops, Cubase, people yeah. who don't know how we make music, they're like programming softwares. Right. Um, so I learned how to just program first. So it wasn't even singing or it wasn't even rapping. It was, how does this work? Yeah, so you've yeah, always yeah. had that like producing side to you as well then from the from beginning. The beginning from, from the beginning, from the get, yeah. it was producing. It weren't, bruv, there was no vocal cords when I was wow, 10, 12, bro. Yeah. I, did, I didn't sound good. I just used to know how to throw a few rhymes. Yeah. Um, but eventually that was more like that was the get-go that's how we started that's how course, I yeah. got into music it was more like um, just interest basic basic interest but I didn't have no uncles or family who I could call yo uncle can I come do a session no of course yeah no one bruv there was no one new making the music in my family at all <laughs> but I talking, was the black yeah, sheep but we're talking about your uncles and so how did your family kind of like support you getting into music yeah, like, yeah. was it something that Bro, you know. there's no support. There's never no support for that kind uh-huh. of stuff, man. <laughs> there's no manual. Especially in them times. Of course, yeah. yeah. No, because I was thinking coming from the culture. Because nowadays, times have kind of evolved. Yeah, if you definitely. go home now and say, Dad, I want to be a singer, or I want to be uh, you know, a comedian, or I want to be an influencer. Yeah, of course. Now you actually do get the support. Yeah, 100%. Because your parents see the gains from <clears throat> being someone famous or you know, on social media doing really well. But I think at the time you were growing up, yeah, yeah. it was more, you can't do that. Going to doctors or go be a, you know, be a doctor, yeah, go yeah, into yeah. chemistry or doing something like that, you know, because that was more respectful at the time. Yeah, of course. I think now times have evolved. I don't Did you say that's right? Yeah, I don't think I ever got permission, bro. You know, them ones. I think, <laughs> like, <ew. laughs> yeah. yeah. Just a rebel. Like, bro, I'll be straight. <laughs> Back then, uh, like, it was like football, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. If you like football, you go and play ball. That's allowed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's sports. <clears throat> PE. Yeah. Mr. Jenkins. <laughs> yeah? You understand what I'm Shout saying? You know, Mr. everyone's Jenkins. got, who's your PE teacher? Nah, yeah. yeah. Mr. Come on, Still. Mr. Still. <laughs> Man, Still. Like, yeah. Man, Still. But everyone's got, a, you know, that Mr. Of course. Jenkins or nah, whatever, of course. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, yeah, But my thing is, that that stuff was allowed. Yeah. PE or swimming, whatever. But music, all right, mate, get out of here. Yeah, you know, like, exactly. First of all, there was, like, no permission, fine. But I think another thing was, like, we weren't allowed to go to them places. No, of course, yeah. You know, yeah. like radio stations, parties at night. You know, there was a curfew, bro. Back then, bro, we didn't. We looked like where we came from. Yeah. You was a Pakistani. You was a Bangladeshi. My side fighting went from here to West London, bro. <laughs> like now, if you look at an Asian guy, you don't even know if he's Cuban, Mexican. Yeah, 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 no, yeah it's so yeah, true. Word, yeah. Right? Fashion has Evolved. upgraded everyone. Yeah, hundred percent. You don't even know who looks like who now. You know. Yeah. Back 100%. then, bro, this this guy, you can tell I'm from Bang- Bangladeshi home. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, like straight up. Yeah. And um, I think. Just at that time, it was more like I had to do everything behind the closed doors. No, of course, yeah. So that must have been hard know, as well then. Bare hard, bro. Like, I think my mum, bless her, she was the one. Like She was always going, yeah. here's a bit of money, go and get a keyboard, oh, nah, go and get some speakers. You know, like, bless her, yeah, we used nice. to always do that. But obviously, we'd, we'd, my dad, I had to respect him. He's never a ba- course, bad person yeah. like that or religious always, yeah. you know. But it was one of them things, bro, like, we just you just copied like of course, it, yeah. it wasn't in my <coughs> let's be honest bro R&B is uh, you know soul music fashion it's it's black man's music of course you know, yeah, of you got to yeah. respect that you got to appreciate that of and course, yeah. pay homage yeah. Bollywood is Bollywood you know yeah. Bollywood comes from India it comes from exactly. Bangladesh Pakistan yep. that tone that whole music so we, we, we own that so yeah, you, of course, you yeah, got to yeah. look at it from that point of view where I had to pick that skill and be accepted on that side of the world first of course, yeah, yeah. And, and then bring that home and say, yo, look. And then grow, yeah, of course. This is what I can do. But let, let me be honest, even up until now, yeah. I don't think I've had a conversation with my parents saying, yo, <coughs> can I be a singer? No way. Wow. Yeah, it never, just happened. Bro. It just happened. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, it's just one of them things. So yeah. on that same subject, right? So once you knew you wanted to be, where did the name Mumsy Stranger come from? Mumsy Stranger. That's a question. Yeah. Because even I forgot. Mate. I've, I've, I've never, yeah, that. I've never known as well. Do you know what it is? Uh, when you're when I was younger, mm. I used to rap obviously first after yeah. producing. And when when you rap, you need a good name a to cool rhyme. Name. Yeah, exactly. My yeah. real name's Mumet. Mumet, yeah. Oh, that wasn't rhyming with nothing but rocket. <laughs> Mumet, rocket, pocket. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't yeah. happening. Socket, yeah. socket. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> this geezer. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm trying to say. You're yeah? just giving him ammunition. Oh, like, that this ain't working. So Mum Z was yeah. created from. It was just easy, innit? Yeah, of course, yeah. MCD, MC Lucky. I didn't want I'd MC Refrigerator. I wasn't yeah, on yeah. that. <coughs> MC Parking. You know, I'm not yeah, on that. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't yeah. on that. I, I, I had to have my own name. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. And put a Z on the end. Yeah. That comes from there. Right. So, um, Stranger came a little bit later yeah, in my career. But that was, was yeah. that was something I followed as a kid. So, like, 
had a saying that I picked up from my mum was that you're born a stranger, yeah. you live a stranger, live like a stranger, and you should die as a stranger. That's how, you know, uh, uh, it don't matter how famous you get, how much money you make, it can go in a day. Of so course, yeah, people exactly. follow you for popularity, your money, your status. Yeah. Yeah. But at the end of the day, when all that goes, you're just a stranger. Of course. They'll forget you in a day. So that was something I kept to just keep myself grounded. Yeah. To, to make sure that I don't forget my foundation, so my friends, my family. It's not just a name, then it's actually got it's some a, meaning behind of course, it. As well, yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, man. Nah, it's nice, I think yeah. that's the way it should be. I think you should represent your what you believe in. Of you know, course, like, for yeah. example, if you were allowed tattoos, because I know on a personal, you don't, you would never do it. Yeah. But if you were allowed, you'd probably, you know, you'd have a tattoo that means something to you. Of course. And I think in the music industry, your name should be something that you believe in if you're going to go by a name that's made up. Of course, yeah. But with tattoos, I mean, nowadays, you're just covered head to toe. Yeah, I've yeah, seen people just got a full on just ink arm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's in right now. It's yeah, in. Yeah, no, like, course, we yeah. were growing up. Certain brothers on Eid put Mend all over their face. Yeah, it? yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mums, you know what? Dodgy tattoos <laughs> from <laughs> Egypt. <laughs> the stick ones, <laughs> which burn your skin after a week and then come back. You come home, your hey, tattoo's you gone into your blood. I mean, you're talking like you got a bit of experience from that. I've been there, bro. <laughs> I don't think you can see a tattoo on my skin, bro. Yeah. No, no, you're right. You're right. I think you know I mean? you, you, yeah. when you've had them, they're always nice for the first day. Yeah, yeah. After that, it just like blends Mutates. off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, mums, you know what? Sticking onto music, because obviously it is your passion. You've always been into mm. it. You got me into it, you know. When you are in a studio, do yep. you find peace in the studio? Is that like is that like a getaway for you? Like imagine comfort you having zone. yeah, like a yeah. comfort zone. So do you feel like when you're having a problem away from it could be anything, friends, family, anything? Mm. Do you find peace in the studio? You know what? It's interesting. I actually do, um, yeah. and I think like for example, um, I think when I was younger, wouldn't you say that I wrote more meaningful records? Hundred percent. Yeah. More more stuff that, and it's interesting because. When I was younger, I felt like I was going through quite a lot of, a lot of hardship. Yeah. Now, I've seen and been, you know, a lot of things in my life I had to, I had to um, see early. Of course, you know, yeah. And I'll get to that later. But, um, and I took a lot of that out in studio. Because you got to understand, right now, bro, when someone feels a certain way, they'll jump right on TikTok. Yeah, exactly. They've got audience, yeah. straight away. Yeah. The audience don't even know them. They don't even know you. Nah. You don't even know them. But there's an audience automatically, right? Um, you don't even have to be a somebody. You just could be a, way a nobody. To voice your opinion out right. there and everyone will listen to and it. And there's platforms yeah. to do that. And I'm not saying it's a bad or bad thing or a good thing. Back then, bro, there was no audience. When you of when you had so. a something to say, if your best friend didn't pick up the call that day, you had to talk to yourself, mate. Yeah. Of course, <laughs> yeah. 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 Jump on them straight up. Yeah. <laughs> Wait for them to come online. That's it. MSN. And that brother came spinning on yeah, the corner. Yeah. It, bro, it didn't it wasn't like that. So for me, my getaway was a studio. Yeah. I used to go to the studio, I used to write music melodies and um and i remember like i tried to drag these lot in i tried to drag yaz in yeah. hassan a lot of my friends yeah you know, i used to drag people in that don't even into music mm. we'll just have them there yeah yeah. because yeah. we grew up like hosts we would like to yeah. host people you know we yeah. like people being around seeing what we're doing yeah, yeah of course you know like learn learn from each other some people didn't get it some people got it you know but for me the music was uh music studio was always a place to go and like um you know chill out and just get Clear away. Clear Cre- mind, yeah. I think the word, word, word is right word is create. Of course, yeah. Yeah. Create, you know, just create something special. Um, and sometimes we were there for days, bro. Yeah. Two days, like, we're going, like, we're eating junk food and, like, well, what's going on? <laughs> Where are you, look? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh my God, you know, like. It was just more like a link up at the same time as well, innit? Yeah. But that was before I was making money from it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? That was when it was a hobby. Hobby, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, difference, bro. When, it, when it's a hobby, and then when you start making money from it, yeah, hobbies maybe. don't pay in the beginning. No, of course, yeah, yeah. that's how it works. It's different. It's man. just something you're enjoying. So to sticking do. to money, right? Do you reckon, like, if we were to ask you, what is the biggest difference from the music industry when you first got into it yeah. to say an artist who comes out now? What would you say? If only one would be the biggest difference, difference between yeah. the two. Would you say it's easier now? Um, I think the best word yep. to use is transparency. I think for an, for, from then to now, when I started music, I didn't know what I was worth. I didn't know how much yeah. I'm getting paid. I don't know how many records I sold. Yep. Remember, everything was analog then. Mm. It's now digital. That's a massive change. Massive bro. difference. Yeah. Yeah. That's like taking a, uh, a massive camera and, and 
taking the picture and it comes out the bottom negative. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. So now taking the picture and bloody, it's gone. <laughs> Everyone's got your auntie's got a picture. Yeah, of you. exactly. <laughs> Like she even, don't even know how she got it because she's in a group chat. Even for me, like when you're, you understand? Yeah, yeah, exactly. She's got your picture, mate. You know, like what the hell? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That is true. Yeah. It's true. So transparency, like back then, for an artist, they had to join a record label. Yeah. Join management. Mm. Join the contracts, and then they don't even know how to read, and then they they're getting signed. Brothers don't even know what textbook means. You know, like but you have to sign yeah, your course, life yeah. away. Yeah. And the way it was back then. You didn't know, like, the management would say, yeah, yeah, you're getting paid 500 quid for a show, yeah? I'm like, all right, cool, 500 quid, yeah, I'll yeah. take that. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what you're, no, supposed, you don't. To what you're supposed to you be. No, you don't. You take yeah, that. Exactly. And, and transparency of stats and just so much that you didn't know. And that's how it was. To now, oh, wow. to now, like... You've got everything online. Bro, you can sit at home, make a tune for jokes, put that online, and you'll see how much you're earning next day. Exactly. Yeah. You're yeah. telling me that there ain't a difference there? It's like we were literally just speaking about before as well when you were saying if people want to release quality or quantity. It's like people would, you were saying to me, Mums were saying to me that people make tunes mm. last night but they want to release it this morning. Because it's business now. Because it's business now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a, more quantity. There's no meaning to it anymore sometimes. Yeah, everything's a business now. It's yeah, not just music. You know, like everyone is trying to make money and hustle but the main point of this is the transparency. I think that's, I think that in a good way, it's good that you can see what you're worth. You know, I think of course, yeah. Art, there's a lot more independent artists now yep. than there ever was, ever. Like, I think artists are earning what they deserve. They can see what they're worth, and it encourages them to go and do more. Um, some people are abusing the system. I feel that some people don't. You know, like nowadays, anyone can sing and anyone can rap. And I'm not cussing them. Like, fine, no, whatever. Course, yeah, yeah. Like, do your thing. Yep. You know, but I know that there's a platform. There was a foundation that got built. 20, 30 years ago. So I'm kind of in between. I appreciate a label for what they can do. But I also appreciate what, I, what I've got to offer and what I'm worth. What you're worth, yeah. Nah, I feel I feel there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a difference there. Like, I think labels now, they're looking for artists that are already blown. They're not looking at, to, they're not looking to groom people. You know, they're not looking to groom artists or groom singers. That, because you got to understand, a, a lot of the grooming process is personality. Someone's got a bad personality. You're not going to want to work with them. Absolutely, of course, yeah. But if, if they're already blown up, you don't really. That personality factor's gone. People in the business world mm. don't even. They don't even care about your personality too much. If they make you money from it's you, it's more numbers now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. If they so make you money numbers, from you. Yeah. You tick a box. Yeah. That's why you see a lot of people falling out yeah. in 24 hours. It's like you're basically a paycheck. Yeah. Some people can't even go 24 months now. They're falling out in 24 hours. Wow. That just shows course, you yeah. personality is not important because they're not even loyal. That oh, word course, for yeah. me, loyalty, I'm loyal to me. Of course. Straight up. I'm loyal to me. I know what I can do. I trust myself mm. to do what I need to do. Um, yep. If you start trying to plot love and loyalty everywhere, you will get burnt. No, of course. And you will get hurt. 100%. That's how the world is. And accept it. It's better that you um, live like that, you know? No, of course. Um, but yeah. Yeah, bro, You've got to be real to yourself, innit? Yeah. And you know, people say, I know, like, the reason why I say I'm in between, I think th there's, there's a fine line of being old school and new school. I think this is where there's there's a big problem. Like a clash, yeah. Old school mm. people think they know it all. 100%. Yeah. Yeah? Let's be honest, yeah? yeah. The new lot don't want to know nothing. It's true, yeah. They're just going to go with what comes. Sorry, it's a bit like the whole Wiley and Stormzy beef recently, wasn't it? No, of course, Wiley, yeah. for me, from where I see it, he thinks like I'm the OG. You know, no yeah. one can say nothing to me. You know, I started years ago. He keeps referring to the past. Well, as Storms is thinking, mate, I'm relevant. I'm, cur I'm, I'm current, now. yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's just the way the industry is. And I think if people understand that, old, new, just let them be in their own generations, really, their own era. While you had his era, yeah, of course. that's what you're trying to say, right? Yeah. I, I think the pioneers are the most important here. I, I, don't yeah. think, I don't think it's about old school and new school. Because if you look at the old school and new school, yeah. both of them are still trying to be famous. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm looking at the in-betweeners. I'm, I'm looking at guys who, who, who are trying way. to use the old yeah. to create the new. Uh, yeah, That's what sense, I'm, yeah. I'm talking nah, about. That makes that. sense, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying that, yo, knowledge is good, but you need to go and work with the youngsters as well. Of course. You need to. Like, I mean, you need a new trouble. generation, innit? To course, stay yeah. relevant, you have to embrace what's going on. If, the old, if you don't accept digital world like for example people say that ah oh, all these guys that are bloggers and that they don't deserve it of course they do do you know how hard it takes to pick up a camera and blog your life and edit yeah, it of course yeah 100%. exactly ask someone old school to go and do that 
It's a bit like this podcast like, we were talking yeah. before you came. Go and ask yeah. someone old school to go and film a whole month so yeah. they can earn money. But they're not even going to do it. They wouldn't know. Yeah. They wouldn't know so how some to of them, it. Most of them, they do deserve it because this is their time. This is what they're doing. This is their way of life. Of you course, know, yeah, yeah. influencing. Yeah, don't get me wrong. There's some people that do it yeah. and it hits mega, ma- major success. But we had that back in the day with music. We had these horrible singers who made great songs. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, true. How about them? <laughs> yeah. I think that exists here as well. Yeah, of course, yeah. You get 100%. that in both eras, you know? Um, but most people, man, that are doing well, you find that there is a graft. There's an element You don't of just hard do work, well. Yeah. It just doesn't work unless you're a fluke. Yeah, you know? yeah, but that is quite a relevant thing now. Flukes yeah. are, are, what I like to think is luck. You yeah. know, some people, like, for me, I'm not really a big fan of artists, this is just my personal opinion, yeah. who do covers for every song. Fair for enough. me, it's not that it's wrong, they've got their own mindset, but for me, that is becoming an absolute trend that mm. it should come, it should stop. It shouldn't, I'm not saying don't do it, yeah. but you know, when, when you're consistently just releasing stuff of another person's success, I think that's like an easy way of kind of, building your name but you don't really earn it because the actual song has already been heard yeah I had I was gonna say but what if like for example imagine you've got an amazing voice right but you don't know how to write your own tunes but you still want to get why out this, there that's why there's songwriters out there yeah, true, I, yeah. I think the big enough, on yeah. that point yeah. I think the biggest problem we have of what you just said yeah. is um, now you can control fl- fluke you 100%. can plan a fluke of course yeah, right? you can, I think yeah. everyone's comfortable planning flukes yeah. which is a system yeah. And, and that could be tormenting your online presence. That could be so many things, copying someone else and being happy. But let's, let's stick to the main point of what are you leaving behind in this world? Yeah. Yeah? Like a legacy. I, I, legacy I, yeah. If you are just constantly copying and constantly reanimating everything. Absolutely. Where is your plaques? The biggest problem we have in the music scene is people don't own enough of their music. Like where's your originality? They're too busy giving it away. Yeah, of course. So if yeah. you're giving away, imagine... Apple and all these big companies. Imagine they had all these great designs and ideas, but they don't own nothing. Yeah. So how do you get paid? You it's know, true. like you don't look at it like that, right? Yeah, exactly. What's the point of owning a trademark when you ain't getting paid for it? When you're gone, true. someone else is taking it because you just copied that someone else. But I think nowadays it's that's the way you gotta look at it. Yeah, people yeah. look at the like an upfront payment. Yeah. Instead of looking at the fruits longer down the line, short yeah. term, short, short term. term, yeah. Not yeah. Long term if you just offer them an upfront payment. They say we don't care how it, you know, if it blows or not. Yeah. Give yeah. us our money up front. Yeah, but and I think that, that short term mentality is dangerous. They probably lack belief in their own stuff, maybe. Yeah, possibly. But like you said earlier, some people don't have like legit, don't have that creative aspect of yeah. them. You know, if some people are not creative, they're just gonna do what they can just copy. So, like I said, it's not a, it's not a bad or good thing. Mm. Yeah, of I think course. It yeah. works for some people. They like they're called they're called cover artists. Uh-huh. If you go to Spotify or any of these, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, been named now. Yeah, the name now. Yeah, exactly. So, great, like, good luck to them. Everyone's doing yeah. But anyway, thing. shout yeah. out to the cover artist. I'm not no, saying it's course, a bad yeah, thing. Yeah. I'm just saying, for me personally, try your own stuff. You know, yeah, let's yeah. see. You try your own luck. You yeah, never know. You might music. come out with something that Crazy, might be an absolute yeah. banger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, mums, you know, we're talking about eras, and you know, you're saying about the new generation or the old generation. What do you say about the introduction of social media? Do you reckon? It's had such a big effect on mindset, especially of the youth today, because I work quite closely with the youth. And Mm. what I've noticed about a lot of them, not all of them, is their mindset. When they start seeing numbers, you know, I've got 50,000 followers, they will start thinking they're better than even their friends. And that will creep into there when they want to approach, like you said, the older guys, or there should be a way you approach people that have been in the game for years. Just because you've got numbers now, do you reckon social media's affected their mindset in them moving forward? Absolutely, absolutely. One one thing, and and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that. Ah, oh, mm. it's never affected me because yeah. I've been lying. Of course, it affects course, everyone. Yeah, yeah. I, I could speak on it because I, I it has affected me. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I found a way to overcome that. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you a true right, story. Yeah. This yeah. is a true story. I've got three little ones. Yeah. Uh, I'm two boys, one girl. And my daughter Amelia. She has got a TikTok account. Yeah. And I'll tell you something which is so crazy. She comes up to me and she goes, Dad, I've only got like eight likes. Wow. And I'm, I'm, okay. it's, I'm not happy. I go, why? Because I want 100. Yeah? Yeah. 
check this out, true story. I looked at her and I said, wow. you shouldn't be unhappy about that. Of course, yeah. She was like, why dad? And I said, I go, when it comes, it will come. And if it doesn't come, it doesn't matter. And she was course, like, why? Yeah. I go, because I like you. Wow, that's nice. Shot. I said yeah, to her, daddy yeah. likes you. That's got, uh, uh, it's priceless. Of course, I go, yeah. you should spend more time working on how people like you in, in presence. Yeah, of rather course. than people liking you online. Because that doesn't matter. And, and the mindset there is if you don't, remember one thing, and people, I keep saying this to the world. Yeah. Instagram, TikTok, all of these things are promotional tools. Just like when you go B&Q and you buy tools yeah. to make a house and build something, they're tools. Well, don't let your yeah. tools control you. And that's, what, that's what happens. People start making it their, their life goal. That and it becomes it, mental yeah. health. It comes mental from health, somewhere, yeah, right? Soon as you let, oh, that person unfollowed me, so what? They're lost. They don't get to see my life. Of course, yeah. You know? That's it, and, yeah. and my thing is, you have to overcome it. And I know I'm making it sound easy. It's hard. <sighs> of course. It's that, that mental stress of looking at YouTube comments, looking at how many, you know? And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and the way I'm going to overrule it right now is, at the end of the day, a lot of that stuff is fake. Of course, a lot yeah. of it. Yeah? You know, a lot of it. And when I mean fake, it's real fake. Real means you bought real views. Yeah. Fake ones is you bought fake ones. Of course, yeah. <laughs> it comes in two forms, you know? But touching up on comments, like, obviously, you're a very loved guy in the music industry and everywhere. Yeah. You, you get, obviously, a lot of love from your fans and everything, but the random trolls that come in and just do, like, put that hate comment in there. How do you deal with that kind Bro, of stuff? Bro, I was going to say, you said that I, I get a lot of love. Yeah. That's probably because you know me. Bruv, I get enough hate as much as love. I get both. In this world, bro, you need to accept that there's going to be love and right behind the love, there's going to be hate. Of course, yeah. Sometimes they come in one. There's love and hate. They're just confused about which one they want to show <laughs> yeah. you that day. You know, I'm being honest. Like, yeah, it's true, yeah. Wow. It, the, way, the way I deal with it, honestly, um, you know, I don't like it. When people, naturally, as a human being, we're designed to not like negativity. Of course, of course. You know, yeah. if there's a negative comment, you're going to be upset. If someone says, oh, you're, you know, you don't look good today. Yeah. You're going to look at yourself and think, damn, I should have made a bit more effort. Yeah, yeah of course. Naturally, yeah. as human beings... You don't look good today. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> With me? It's probably because I'm next to you. <laughs> but yeah, just, yeah, it's true though, isn't it? Like, but how you, do you overcome that then? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, each individual, you have to have, you, you have, to have self-belief, in it? Yeah, You don't just overcome it. You have yeah. to learn... How, how to live to with it. Yeah, you have to learn how to control your mind, man. I think that as soon as you lose control of your mind, mm. you become you become uh, um, very weak. But sorry, you know, a big aspect here is you've had the experience. Yeah. Mm. But for someone new, with all this, because social media is technically a new thing, yeah, of right? Course. But do you think like a 17, 18 year old boy or girl and they get hate, which like, you're getting at the age of 30, yeah. their insight of that would be like suicidal. Like, no yeah, way, That's it, no course. one can call me ugly. Why am I ugly, you know? Yeah. But with you being a more mature man, settled down, you probably look at it as like, well, whatever, you know, let's move on from it. Yeah. So I think that is also one of the major things about youth today, that they cannot handle pressure yeah. like that. Mental health is real, man. But it's, you just, you just it. said it, oh. you just said it. That, that's very true what you just said, mm. but that's life. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm mature, you just said it. They're not going to mature you know, on Tuesday, are they? They're not going to go from being 12 to... I think it's more experience. I think, it's, I think it's to do with parenting, bro. I think it's to do with parents and elderly people that need to take a more of a responsibility of spending more time of course, yeah. with, with kids and children. Like, I just gave you an example earlier with my daughter. You know, she, okay, you she, think she opened a conversation with me mm -hmm. and I had to encourage her to make sure she understands. That it doesn't matter about yeah. your likes and your followers. Yeah, because and you, you got you got to understand, you just said I'm older. You know, as much as I'm older and mature, I'm still new to TikTok. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. New generation. It's, it's funny you said yeah, that. Yeah, but I, I mean it on the sense that... No, no, but hey, you're right. But that's why I said I learned from her. So I'm learning from my children. Of course. Because of course, yeah. I conversate with them, yeah. I'm trying to understand. As much as they can learn from you, you can learn from them you as well. So yeah. They might get experience and confidence from me, but I also learn you're how learning, it feels yeah, from them. Yeah, yeah. Good angle of seeing it, yeah. That's course, why I was yeah, like, yeah. rah, you, let, you let that affect you. I've been there before, but for me, it was high five. <laughs> and MySpace. <laughs> Bebo. Facebook. Twitter. You see how like you're talking about parenting, right? I've had this debate so many times with people, friends, family. I think society is more powerful than parents nowadays. Yeah. I think, you know, kids, friends, whatever, I think you're influenced more from outside than you are inside. You're influenced Absolutely. more from your, like, your, you know, your role models, your celebrities, you know, your, yeah. all the yeah. people that you kind of like look up to. Yeah, so I think parenting is, yeah. is, is important, but I think it's more important just to build their morals. Of course, yeah. I, I think it's time, bro. I think time, 
I, f- I feel that the phone is the enemy mm. of a family. A phone, a mobile phone. I know it seems like, what is he talking about? Yeah. I'm telling you right now, the minute I drop my phone or my battery dies, I spend more time with my family. Yeah, I talk it's, it's to true. them more. I communicate more. I go to the park. I go and do things. I take them out. Like I'm not, and I'm making it sound easy. It's not. It's not. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I it's my phone so day, hard. Say, yeah. It's so hard to switch off. But I promise you, I've been in a room where there's eight people. Mm. My in-laws, this person, that person, and everyone at that minute was on the phone, but me, because I was just bugging at them. That's yeah, I was just looking yeah, at yeah. them. I was looking at every single one of them. I had a reason to be on my phone because I got promotional tools that I make money out of. Of course, yeah. But the problem with everyone else is they knew. You know why they're doing that? Because it's TV for them. Of course, yeah. Word. They don't watch TV no It's more. easy access, isn't it? Yeah, it's just there. Yeah. It's well TV. Said. Everyone's got their own personal TVs. Of course, it's yeah. true. It's true. Now, if you go to someone like a house now and you see all the kids have their own iPads, someone there, and if their iPad battery dies, then they're crying for their parents' phone. Yeah, yeah. Of and it, yeah. put it on. And it's yeah, time. Yeah. It's money. It's all like you're yeah. so busy. As, us as parents, we're so busy making money. Of we're trying to provide, and we don't have time. Like. You got to cook, you got to clean, you got this and that. Then you got to come spend time with your kids, and you got to look at it. Every minute that you are not with your kid when they need you, yeah. Yeah. they're learning from someone else. Of course, they're gonna be picking up from somewhere else, someone else, and they're bringing that home. Of course, yeah, hundred percent. And yeah. for me, I'm not saying that you got to be a super dad or a super mum, but man, you got to spend time with the youths, man. Of course, yeah, hundred percent, bro, hundred percent, hundred percent. I love spending time with my kids. Yeah, so people's phones yeah. are like mini TVs now. Everyone's just watching their phone. Of individually course, yeah. in one room <coughs> I don't agree that man I think that there's no more socialising going on anymore it's, it's all online it's not good yeah, you know, of like, course. it's important but yeah. it's not good you know you should try be off devices man we have like rules at home now on the dinner table and stuff, no devices oh, we're eating amazing, now we're yeah. eating right now yeah, let's eat and talk because you know? e- even just sitting at a table I mean nowadays in this generation half of the time everyone's food so, you know people, kids are in their rooms mum yeah. and dads are in front of the TV by themselves but have you not deep it now phones before you eat 75 percent of that table is going to be snapping chatting that food 100 percent. yeah so everyone's phones are not just becoming a thing on social media to put these fuck the food up the drinks up you know restaurants are getting more bougie for that reason yeah do you know what i mean so i think that's just part of society in anything i think it's all okay i yeah, think there, there's no harm like like of I course. Said, like me i'm adapting the correct word is adapting i'm adapting to society I'm adapting to, yeah. okay, what, what is he doing? What, what's, what's that you doing? But it's about controlling as well. Of course, yeah. I feel that, I feel we're always going to be a on, a, on a boat, you know, like one end on the other end. Yeah. Uh, when you row, you know, you got to row with together. And I, my thing is, is it's not about, because if you let the youths control everything, your house will be a madhouse. Of course, yeah. you got to have a discipline like us as well. But you're telling me that you fully had a connection with your father. You're telling me that I had a, like I understood him now, nah, bro. Yeah, I yeah. would say that they were we were like just it's, about understood. It's always that fair element in there. He would tell yeah. he, my dad would say something to my mom, and then and I'll say something back, and it's like, okay, I kind of got what you just said. <laughs> yeah. You know, you're yeah. never gonna, but you're not gonna stop, are you? Nah. What well, nope. does it stop now? The legacy must go on. You must of course learn from each other, man. But discipline is key. I'm always going to switch on my youth standard. <laughs> I see you do it. Yeah, always, bro. <laughs> Sometimes it's a bit You're unfair, but we'll talk about that another time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, Mums, going back to the actual music side of things with you, yeah? I've always wanted to know something about you, which I don't even know. And it's, if I was to say to you, who has been the most easiest, the easygoing artist or probably the most talented artist that you've worked with, that you've sat there thinking, rah, like, you're good. You're seriously good. The name dropping, yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I need to know because I know, and look, oh, credit man. to everyone you've worked with. I think of every course, artist yeah. you worked with is brilliant, right? <sighs> in their own right. But as a producer, I'm not talking about an artist, right? I'm talking about when you're on the on the, on the, deck, the keys, yeah. whatever you want to call them, right? When you're in there watching him and you're thinking, bro, you ripped this, you got the melody for it, and then you delivered it, you're mad. See, if there's, if there's, only, there's only two people, yeah. and it might sound biased because... I'm saying it now. Yeah. But you you know I've worked with a lot, a lot of people. Mm. But when it comes to the all in one artist, it has to be Nish, man. Yeah, pick because up Nish. I was yeah. Pick up my brother. Yeah, when it comes to all in one, Nish is hard. Artist, yeah. Nish 
ticks that category because, and, and I'm not just saying it because, you know, Nish is doing his thing. Of course, he, yeah. Me and Nish ain't even doing things together like that. You know, like he's doing his thing. I'm doing my thing. Yeah. You know, um, but I'll tell you why I say that is he knows how to play music and I always admire, so do you, <coughs> you guys understand. I, I admire someone who brings something to the table. If you can play a guitar or you can write or you can drop a melody or do a bit of like composing or something, it just adds, man. Of course. It yeah. adds on your title yeah. of what you do. So I think when it comes to um, that, yeah. And, and when you let people go and do their thing. But away from Nish, production wise, bro, I don't think I've. Lion, yeah. bro. It's not even, I'm, and I'm not saying it because I can't even say, oh yeah, he's my producer. Lion yeah. is not my producer. Yeah. Let me just make that. DJ Lion is himself. Of course. He's accessible. He, he controls what he does. Yeah. He works with bare p- artists. And bro, he made, he made a lot of noise. And of with course. a lot of, but my thing is, he's one guy that I know that you can put him in Punjabi, Bengali, yeah. Bollywood, 100%. Hollywood. Yeah. You can put him in with any artist. By the end of that session, you'll have something. Yeah, Shout Lion. Yeah, DJ, he's a beast, man. He's ahead of his game. You know. Yeah, like, yeah. he's really um, young, isn't he? He's still. He's, he's not even. They, I think they're both like mid twenties. Wow. Both of them, so seriously talented boys. Yeah. Seriously. But that's like yeah. that's new school. Like now, now me taking it like a little bit back. Um, I would say like who because I I, th- I need to break it up. Yeah. It's hard for me to just. Because your career's been of course, so yeah, long. Yeah, exactly. just, yeah exactly. bro. For me, Richie Rich. Bro, one of the most unique, dangerous producers. Hundred percent. No, and I'm not. I'm not just saying that because I've worked with him. I just know that when that guy makes a beat and yeah. puts that flute yeah, or that something flute. on there, you I know that. Like, damn. Iconic. Yeah. yeah, iconic. And he plays the key, uh, piano so like a lot of people don't know or do know. Yeah. The way he plays the 88 key, bro, it's magic. Like you can watch Rishi play that piano all day. Yeah. He's just nice. so great at playing the piano. So wow. Rishi, when it comes to like developing artists that he gets it um singer wise bro the maddest vocalist that I'm i've sorry, been on I'm the track put some spice with. to the question right whether you've worked with him or not vocally who is your favorite not who's the best yeah who's your who favorite? Is your favorite bro this is what i'm saying like i don't i'm not i've been on a track with this guy yeah um it never came out yeah. um big up jags climax but this this artist when I hear him sing, my yeah. head goes, Master Salim. Oh, he's hard. He's hard. Bro, Master, Master Salim's Salim. vocals. Yeah. Hard. What he hits on yeah. Yeah. from one to a hundred. Yeah. You're like, what? How many notes did this guy just hit? <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. He just, his tone, his yeah. vibe for me, like old school. Like I've always liked, and Master Rakesh. See, I'm more Master Rakesh. Yeah, I'm more yeah. Master Rakesh. And, like, like, but I think they're yeah, similar. Yeah. I think they're Master, very yeah. similar. I think mean, Master Rakesh got that bit more of a bite to his voice. Yeah, yeah. more. But you get it in it. You yeah, know what course, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're a bit old school like that, innit? it? Like it's um, mental. Cause we were listening to it the other day as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Master Rakesh. Because you can't put classical singers, all of them, on R and B or hip hop or you know these kind of records. Yeah, of but, course. But yeah, but yeah, man. There's so many. Bro, there's so many to mention. Like, of course. That's just the you know South Asian desi scene. They're definitely my favorite. And commercially, in the commercial bro, scene, commercially, one name, bro. Commercially, like new school, yeah. Justin Bieber's great. Like, I just think, of course, you know, legend. Drake, yep. yeah. Justin Bieber. Um, honestly, just off the off that vibe, yeah. Burner Boy, Burner Boy right. for me. His records are thumping. Yeah, yeah of course. Like, you know, like I I I, I mess with him. Tory Lanez, I really like Tory Lanez. You know, yeah. I could be here yeah, all day multi- telling you. Yeah. Of course, yeah. Uh, and 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 in a in a in a desi <coughs> in a desi scene, bro. There's so much to mention. There's so many, so know, many names. You can I love go into. AP Dylan's music. Yeah, you know, AP Dylan's big right my now. My favorite well, artist. Yeah, like one of my favorite artists, Prophecy. Man, well, man. Now, now we're talking. Voices, yeah. Bro, Liaz told me about Prophecy, and that Prophecy knows. If you're listening, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Liaz <laughs> told me about Prophecy, and I told Prophecy this. And this is before his first thing. I'm like, you know who told me about you first? Yeah. It was Liaz. He said, what? Liaz, my dog, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Prophecy's tone, man. Yeah. Like, if you if you do not know about Prophecy, go and listen to his music. What are you bro. doing? If you don't, yeah. what are you doing, man? Do you, not yeah. know him, man? you know, it's great. Like, and obviously, bro, Mickey. There's so many Ezu. You know, I really yeah. like Ezu. There's so many, man. So many to mention. You know, Bambi's doing bits as well. I really like Bambi. Yeah. She's doing bits. So yeah, there's there's a lot to mention. I think there's, yeah. um, I think the most, not even the most talented. I don't want to say that, but one artist I feel that female-wise is making good 
mainstream music is Selena Sharma. Yeah. I think her vocals yeah. are great. Of course, yeah. Fantastic. Great vocals. Talent. Yeah, big her up, man. Yep, yep. So I'm almost, oh wait, uh, uh, within the industry, right? You probably had how many releases now? How many releases have you had? I've never counted. Good it must question. be over 100, yeah. right? Probably, man. Right? Which is your favorite project and why? Um, my favorite song and project that I've ever put out has to be Fly With Me. And yeah, the reason, and the reason like why, the reason why Fly With Me was one of my <clears> favorite <throat> is because it's the first track I produced on my own. I produced, yeah. wrote, yeah. recorded everything that song myself and put it out and I rapped and sang on that together. That yeah, was the yeah. first song that I did, bit of rap, bit of singing. And I put it out and bro and I danced on the video. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember that? That, yeah. So it was a very special kind of record because it, it did bits, bro. And we call it units back then. It right. wasn't streams. How many units did yeah, you yeah, sell? Yeah. Sold a lot of units on that particular record, especially after One More Dance. Because One More Dance done numbers. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That yeah. went MTV everywhere. Like, I'm talking mainstream, bro. There weren't no like Desi platforms, either the Music Station Network, B for you. Uh, Brit Asia, I think, was coming through then. Yeah. So there wasn't there wasn't like a lot of brown, uh, so uh, sorry, media outlets that helped us on when it comes to English records. Of course, yeah, yeah. So they picked it up, man. But that that record, I think, whenever I listen to it, yeah, it just it takes me back. So I enjoyed that project. Obviously, you just mentioned the word brown, yeah, and being a you British-born Bangladeshi, do you think, from your perspective? the UK mainstream we don't get the break that we deserve because of our colour now it's not political or nothing too much to say it's just your view my personal view is that the reason why there isn't a mainstream Bengali, Bengali or Pakistani or Indian other than Jay Sean who had to go to the States yeah. I just feel there's some sort of block there now mm. I, I'm not educated enough to know what that block is but if I was to mention some names including yourself I reckon vocally you take out a lot of these mainstream guys your numbers oh, are thanks, doing bro. no honestly <laughs> that's just me speaking as a, I've heard you in every way like you, you, you sing every language you speak you, all melodies your choruses are unbelievable right but this mainstream guys who I look at without mentioning names yeah and I think you're not even like the Asian guys or the brown boys some of them are so much better than you, but how comes you got what you got? And I can't answer that question, but I want a professional's view on that. Um, do you know what it is? Look, I think the way you got to look at it, I mm. think a good example is football. Right. You know, at the end of the day, football, music, it's all the same. You know, as soon as a, a, a brand girl hits mainstream, mo mainstream modeling, you'll be like, oh, this girl, she went mainstream. True, Bro, yeah, yeah. true, true. She's one, she's 0.0001% of the girls, brand girls that it, we have. Of course, yeah. Have you seen the rest of them? You know, like, that's, that's true, it, isn't it? Yeah. like I'm, I'm saying it like, one person makes a move and it's like, it's a thing. Like, it's almost like, oh, where's this drop from? Yeah, exactly. It's not that. The way I see it, and I'm just going to say it out loud. Yeah. I feel that when you segregate stuff, then how are you ever going to find things that are unique? Of course. You know, in this country, everything's got... Okay, this is brown, send it to the brown section. This is black, send it to the black section. Yeah, this is course, white, yeah. send it to the white section. It's very categorised. Yeah. Yeah, 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 If everything's categorised, yeah. then how are people going to find out... Well, am I going to wake up tomorrow and start um, learning French? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, well, exactly. Why am I going to do that? Yeah. You know? So true. The Spanish market has been boxed. Yeah, for a long time. You know what? People don't realise. Who was doing Spanish back in the day? J-Lo. Of course, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, what's, uh, oh, what's his name, man? Big Punisher. Everyone forgets that all their Latino gang has been in America from day one. Yeah. They dropped a few lines here and there, but they just didn't go mainstream. Why? Because they couldn't. It was just like Bollywood. It was just like South Asian. They couldn't because they don't understand it. But what you don't understand... Mm. and is mo half of America is Latino. Of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't stop it. Mm. Mainstream, it, would, it was coming for them. But the only way it, come, it became big was they got together. It has to become a movement. Of course, yeah. A yeah. scene. 100% yeah? agree. If you, if you don't move like a herd, 
then you're not taking down nothing. 100%. No one yeah. person's gonna come and take down Afro beats. It blew up because they became a scene. You can't stop them. They became bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So the way I see it, yep. everything's so segregated. If you ain't gonna do something about it, then you will never. Remember, we're never gonna change segregation. Of course, it yeah. will always be there. The only way that will stop is if you start moving like a scene. Yeah, stop killing each other. Stop trying to be the best. Stop, stop trying to perform last. Yeah, Respect to that. That's Respect what I was yeah, Stop trying to be the yeah. front boy. Stop of trying course, to be yeah. the front girl. Stop trying to uh, keep your social media just for you. And when it works for you, do a collaboration. Tag that person once and 15 posts. But exactly like, what you just bro, said. Bro, I'm done well, with yeah. all that. I'm saying it how it is. Yeah? yeah. Right now, you can't contain us. Yep. South Asians are about to pop. Definitely. Yeah, it's already happening. Bar on a track with J Balvin. Go and check it out. Yeah? Do you know how big J Balvin is? Huge. Do you know Huge, how big yeah. Barcha is? Huge. A king met a king. Yeah? Diljit Dasan just done a track with Toy Lanes. Bro. Mad. That was massive. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm, and I'm not just... Respect, man. But, yeah. that's, but that's, remember, that's 0.001% of how many of us there are out there. Within this industry, like, why do you think like our own people do not help each other out? Like, I've been watching you since yeah. young and you've like worked with a lot of artists and you've actually pushed them out yourself as well. Yeah. Like in the sense of like, I mean, just going off at the top of my head, like people like Shah, Janae Kaden, Tasha Tar, Ramit, but like also mentioning names like someone like Imran Khan, who's done really well. But really? I don't feel like he's ever like collabed with anyone or like bought anyone out in the industry like that he could have. He could have done a lot of collabs with a lot of people. But I just want to know your, your, your view on that. that oh, question. You know what? I've got two answers for that. Yeah. Um, the one of, one of my main answers yeah. for me, that's just speaking to myself, is I ain't just a singer. Yeah, point black. I'm not just someone who could just write a song and sing it or rap it. Yeah. Because that means my, my skill set is just that. Yeah. I've always invested in a studio. You know that. I've always put money in having a recording studio. Yeah. Whether it's a good one, decent one, crap one, whatever. I've always had the facilities. Yeah. And I feel that because I don't mind working with other singers and other rappers, I've always found it exciting to mm. work with, oh man, that person's tone. Of course, yeah. That yeah. person got bars. Yeah. And bro, and that all comes from that Dr. Dre mentality. Mm. That comes from Timberland mentality. You always see the talent in them. Yeah. yeah. And that, that's just me. Yeah. That's me as a person. I just like working with people who've got science to offer. You know? And, and naturally, when you work, when you open your home like that, and that's to do with my skill set as well. It's mm. because I can. Of course, a lot yeah. of people can't do that. They can't ever write their own music. So how are they going to write it for someone else? Word. Huh? Yeah. You know, like, you've got true. to think of what that person... Because everyone thinks when they see someone online, they think that they do everything themselves. Yep. That's yeah? all true. You're on, the, you, you're, you're on the wrong page, yeah? And it's not your fault because you're misinformed. Of course. That's the problem. You're misinformed. You're not informed about the truth. You're just reading whatever you see. Of course. Now, and just jumping off that, so that... That naturally becomes love. So I end up helping people at the love of my heart and giving opportunities. Now me being an artist and a producer side to side, bruv, that took a lot of my time. It's hard giving course, time yeah. to yourself, let alone giving time to other people. Now, why someone else doesn't do it, I have no idea. But I can give you an inkling that a lot of artists just don't care. They just want to do their own thing. They want to be on top. You know, I'm not just saying that about Imran. Imran's talented. Of course, dropped yeah, yeah. an album that's going to last forever. 100%. You know? yeah, it's unforgettable. unforgettable. It's what, yeah. it's what it says on the tin. <laughs> of course. Yeah. You know? and, but my thing is, I'm not here to um, answer why they're not doing it. But one thing I, I can say, it takes a lot of balls, man, to handle personalities. Of course. You know, you've got mentor. The word mentor means mentor. Some people can be mentors, some yeah. people can't. Of course. And yeah, if yeah. you can't handle your own personality, how are you going to handle someone else's personality? You're going to get offended as soon as they leave the studio. Of and course, I yeah. dealt with that, bro. Like in, and I'll tell you that, and, and that's one answer. The one answer is I love talent. Yeah. I'll always help. I'll always be there. And I'll always try to bring someone through. Yeah. Respect to now, that, bro. Respect to that, yeah. The back end of that. So the two answers. The second answer is, bro, if you line up most of them mm. that I've helped, and I don't want to say no names, <laughs> if you ask them <laughs> one by one, yeah. what have you done for Mumsy? Yeah. I would like to see what answer comes out of the mouth. Yeah, Line right. them all up and say, yeah. what have you actually done for him? Mm. He's done whatever he's done. But what, did <coughs> you actually do something for him though? 
And did he ask you to do something for him? Yeah. No. I didn't ask no one for nothing. Yeah? But the point I'm trying to make, bro, sometimes it's not it's not worth it. Of course, yeah. Yeah? yeah? Sometimes you put so much time into someone, so much effort, and you're doing it at the at goodwill. And they're just taking, taking. It's just sad to hear, isn't it? Because yeah. you'd think, obviously, if everyone's helping each other out and yeah. pushing each other out there. Naturally. Naturally, yeah. But that's how the world should work. Of course, yeah. yeah. But you, you <coughs> unfortunately, where we are, some people don't have qualities, the skill set. And the answer, that's why I've answered your question. Yeah, of course. The problem with that is a lot of people, why they don't help is because they don't, that person, they're worried that person's not going to appreciate and help them back. Of course, yeah, yeah. So mm. it's a vicious circle, but there are great role models. Of course, yeah. You know? Big up to the young, uh, some of the brothers that haven't made me feel like that, who inspire me. Remember, for every 10, there's always one that will re-inspire you to do good. Definitely, and yeah. It, and one is more powerful than 100 bad. Yeah. That one good that, is yeah. enough light to shine, bro. And I'm telling you, and, and, and that's what it's about, bro. The way I see it is a circle and it's a hit and miss. But is it going to stop me from bringing new talent out? No. I'm just going to have a different way to go about it. Just generally me saying this and... And me, I'm a bit like straight up when I say things, I don't really like hiding. Yeah. But my main thing here is the Desi scene, the Asian scene, you know, needs to become a movement. And I feel that it's happening. Yeah. And a lot of people, bro, it's funny, like, they're all mainstream. Like, oh, they do that Desi music, don't make Asian yeah. music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, not, it's not good enough. Respect to that, my bro. Bro, when it's yeah. blowing now, yeah. I see the flags coming out so high, they're coming out their brain. <laughs> <laughs> now you want to be Pakistani and Bangladeshi and Indian suddenly. Of course, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. you don't oh, want to be sick. headhunters, man. Yeah, yeah of sick. course, yeah. Bruv, you lot wanted to be fucking... So, sorry, can I swear, yeah? I said, <laughs> you, lot, you lot wanted to be like, I don't know, Asha and bloody uh, Ed Sheeran yeah, last yeah. year. But you lot were brown. There's a big problem there. Of course, no, yeah. What, happens, that, what happens with them? Reality slaps them. And that yeah, is the truth. And not yeah. even like my thing is, I'm not looking. I'm not looking down on people that wanna be mainstream, man. I'm not saying that, yeah. bro. But everyone forgets that I like R and B music. Of course, I yeah, like, yeah. I'm a dancehall R and B artist. Bashman, that's my first love. Anyone who knows me, bro, I didn't wake up wanted to. Sing. I wasn't gonna sing Punjabi or Bengali or yeah. Arabic. That wasn't in the agenda. You know, I did that to become compatible to people's ears, so people can hear me from a different language and just connect to me. Yeah. Some yeah. people don't wanna connect to. You by English R&B music. Of course, yeah. You know, the world's become so bilingual yeah, that yeah. you have to pick up different genres. Of so course, my yeah. thing now, bro, is you need to be a movement. If you don't become a movement, it will things will never change. Yeah. You know, so for me, those who don't, didn't find it cool to be Desi, yeah. who are now finding it cool, well done. Because we need your support. Of course, yeah. Absolutely. But I must say that your pronunciation on Punjabi is amazing. Come on, I've got Yaz here, innit? Yeah. I've got Yaz. I've got all the, all the brothers that helped me, you know, big up Yaz, obviously, from the beginning. Of course, Rack yeah. Star, he's quite cool. He comes in the studio. These guys have worked on tracks together. Mm -hmm. Hassan, my boy yeah. who writes Hindi. Oh, Hassan, all these brothers, Hassan, they, yeah. they help me. They inspire me to do it. Because otherwise, bro, I wouldn't have done it. Legit. Of course, yeah. Because you can't do something wrong. That's embarrassing, isn't it? How are you going to go and start singing to him, but you're not doing it right? You know? Yeah, no, of course. So. I think because we're on the topic of <clears throat> obviously speaking about movement and support, the one person that came to my mind while you guys were discussing that was Sidhu Musawala. Rest oh, in yeah. peace. Oh, yeah. We all know recently passed away. Legend. Now, if you look at him for an example, his legacy wasn't a very long legacy. It was very short-lived. Mm. But the, the impact he had on the industry as a whole, as a community, whether you're Pakistani, whether you're Bengali, whether you're Indian, we all got together and yeah, of course. we all understood how much he did for the scene. Definitely. What I mean by that is, it's not just us. When he passed away, I saw it on Drake's Instagram. Of course. I see it on Burner Boy Start Crying <laughs> on stage. Video, yeah. now, if you look at it from the outside perspective, he was a devout Sikh who passed away, but you've got the whole industry, the whole music industry mourning his death. And such a small legacy he left in such a small amount of time is because he worked with everyone. Definitely. He didn't look at his numbers and think, I'm better than all of you. Because in reality, he was an industry on his own. Of course. He his numbers it. were that good. Yeah. But he gave to everyone. And that's just my opinion on it. That that's what I think when it comes to leaving a legacy and working with people, I'm not just saying it because Mumsy's here. Mm. 
I believe he's one of the very few guys that I've always known to open doors for everybody, no, including myself. When I wanted to work in this industry or wanted to understand it, the one person, luckily for me, was my best friend, that I could go to and say, bro, get me in. I want to write, I want to learn the game, I want to understand it. And he opened the door for me and I'm not an artist. So when it comes to these artists, I don't think there's anyone who's brought as many newcomers into the industry as him. No, and then that worn off on me. And then I brought out people from myself, not being an artist, but as a manager or opening a label mm. for course, unsigned yeah. talent, it's because I got it given to me. So credit to Mumsy as well. Course, but I yeah. think when it comes to legacies and stuff, shout out to Sidhu because he yeah, man, definitely. did an uh, unbelievable job in just a short amount of time. I never got an opportunity to meet him, yeah. but obviously mm. heard his music. And uh, the thing is, you need what people don't understand. You need people like Sidhu. 100%. 100%, yeah. yeah. At his age, the impact he made. The way I see it is, if you're not going to do that, after people do it, after legends and legends and legends and pioneers setting stones for South Asian music, yeah. if you don't take that and go and do what he did for it, yeah. there's no point doing it. Of course. You know, so hats off to him, man. He's, he's made a massive impact and I feel that the youngsters should learn from it. They should take note 100%, and, and build bro, really. on that, you know, and 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 less hate. Like, of literally, course, yeah. hate exists. No one's saying that hate's gonna leave tomorrow, but enough of this now, man. Like, everyone needs to just get along, get with it, and build on what we've got because we're nearly there, man. Of course, yeah. yeah Still course. far, yeah, but yeah, yeah. There. We're getting there slowly getting but surely. Slowly, slowly, yeah. So, Mums, you know, like everyone has a time in their life where they something happens where their whole life changes, right? And I know being really close to you that this is not a topic that even I don't think we've spoken about for potentially more than a decade. We haven't sat down and spoken about it since. Mm. But just before <clears throat> you actually blew off with labels and all your tours around the world were coming through, and it was, I remember it was one of your major tours that you did, you were having a world tour. Yeah. And then you got the, the terrible news that your mother was battling cancer yeah. and sadly lost her battle to cancer. And I remember that time for you was very, very deep because n not just obviously the fact that it was your mother, it was more, everything was looking so, oh, this is it, this yeah. is my year. And then bam, I get a call from you. And just in your words, bro, I want you to relive that time and share it with us and mm. tell us what, how you got through that. Do you know what? I don't think you ever get through it. Mm. I think anyone who's lost a parent or anyone, uh, child, parent, brother, sibling, sister, you know, it's always difficult. But that stuff, there's no manual, man. There, you can't prepare for it. No. You know, if, it, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Obviously, it happened to me and my family very young. You know what, I was about 22 <laughs> at the time. So, yeah. um, my younger brother was even younger, was like 16. So... You know what it is? That phase was something, it's, it feels like, you know when you got that anxiety feeling, when you feel like you don't want to eat mm. and you don't want to sleep? Yeah. You don't want to do anything. That's how I felt at that minute when I found out. I was like, you know what? That's it. Like, there's nothing to live, live for. And it's the wrong mentality at the time. Like I said, because you have to eat and you have to sleep and you have to live. That's life. But at the time, the gut feeling I got was empty, you know? Um, and it was the most difficult part of life. Can you imagine? You can ever imagine, yeah. especially at that age. Um, and obviously, when you lose your mum, you lose your mum. It doesn't matter what age. It's like your mum, your dad. World, yeah, yeah well, it's like, it's a, a pinch is a pinch, isn't it? It doesn't matter when you pinch someone. Exactly. You'll feel it the same way. Yeah, absolutely. Right? And my thing is, at that time, I was like, what am I going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What am I going to do? You know, and you get scared. This fear comes in your mind and your heart, and the fear is loss, you know? And um, at that time, the w my world broke. I was like, nope, I'm not doing nothing no more. I'm not going to finish uni. I'm not going to drive pass my driving test. Legit, I had none of that at the time I didn't want to um, do music mm. I gave up I was like do you know what this is it. Like, 
I need to just follow life in a different path. And naturally, you feel like that when course, something yeah. like that's happening. Of course, yeah. But because I had such great friends, you know, Yaz was there. That's great, man. Such great friends, family, friends. Because there was good people in my life, they lifted me back up. I'm a family, you know, like, and it's a very difficult subject because talking about it, it just you feel like because we I had to grow up without my mum at certain places. I saw my mum. I saw yeah. I saw auntie, and I was like, you know, she's my mum. Of course, you know, yeah. Like, and if anyone said something to her, I would wanna like. Anyone said something to anyone's mum, I, I I just it would hit you I'd in a different way. I, yeah. I would go mad. Like, it became more personal. <clears throat> very personal and. Like there was a lot of events, so many things that I got married without a mum. I had kids without yeah. a mum. Wow. Now my my kids don't even know what my mum ever looked like until they look at a picture. Mm. So that feeling, man, is is hard. Of course, you know, like because you see it and it's normal for everyone else. And it's great, like anyone who's got their parents, alhamdulillah, like, it's good alhamdulillah, for them. yeah, it's good for them, you know, <laughs> yeah. like you celebrate that. But man, after that, I just felt like alone I felt alone I felt like you know what I need to uh, even though my dad was there of course yeah you know my dad was always there but my dad there's six kids man and my dad is a lot to Mashallah, yeah. take on on his own for him as well and um, I just felt like this is going to be hard man you know, like, and I had to do everything alone you know graduated alone without my mum you know done everything without my mum but in the back of my mind I reversed the pain and I was like you know what I need to just turn this into strength. Of course, so rather yeah. than it being a weakness, it became my strength. And honestly, I even got married young. I got married two years later, age of 24. And I was yeah. lucky to have someone in my life. But I felt that that was a... Uh, because I think, partly because I lost my mum first, so young, I got married. Because she took my mum, you know, not she took my mum's place. Of course, it's yeah, not the yeah, same. Yeah. But... Yeah, you had that it's like a blessing, played a blessing huge came into your impact. Life. Yeah. yeah, and I felt like at that time, man, it was the right move for me, um, and I grew up, I grew up quick, young. A lot of people didn't understand me, man. You know, like when I was yeah. to say things, people just didn't get what you I was, tra- what I was trying well. to say. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Grow up, man, dude. No one got it, bro. You got to pay bills. I had to pay bills, bro. I had to do things. I had to man. I had to become a man, quick. You know. Of course, and yeah. I wouldn't change nothing. The only thing I would change is obviously my mum still being here. Of course, yeah. But I wouldn't change nothing else. I feel that you, you sh- I, I encourage people to grow up quicker, enjoy life, but you should take responsibilities, man. Of course, yeah. You know, because the reason why I encourage that, because you don't know who's going when. And when they go, you better be ready for it. Wow. You know what I mean? And when they go, the thing is, is like, I feel like, all these things that happen in your life happens for a reason because even with for example your mum passing away and yeah. I think it's built you into who you are today yeah yeah. obviously everyone would wish that they could still keep their parents I mean I lost my dad when he when I was 12 years old so I yeah oh, thanks um, I never grew up with like a father figure obviously yeah, uncles and cousins always there but mm. it must be hard but a mum is like irreplaceable sometimes you know your mum's there always for you like look at, like you said look after the kids six kids are for a man to look after yeah, a six it's true. kids, it's, it's completely different. Yeah, it's not natural. It's not natural, but it's it, obviously, mashallah, he's done a great job, but yeah. it's, it's harder. Mum will be proud, bro. I in you that, now you've told me that I didn't yeah. know that about you, just on this podcast, yeah. it's so real, that I can tell just from your maturity that you had to man up. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, Legit, when I met you, and I'm not just saying it because you're- Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm it's just all saying real, it, man. brother yep. to a brother. Of course. That I can, I can feel your presence of, that you have to grow up quick. Course, Without yeah. you even telling me, I'm like, you know, this guy's with it, man. You understand? Yeah. That's deep. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. May Allah grant mum the highest ranks of Jannah, my brother. Amen. Amen. So, bro, that happened, having said all of that. Yeah. Obviously, it was a very testing time for you and your family. So then you got married. Yeah. Which is, it was an amazing chapter for you and has been, inshallah, and always will be. Inshallah. And I remember that time very vividly, very well. <laughs> um, and pick up to Nas, your missus. Yeah. And the one thing I want to bring up about your marriage is something very unique and something that I admire very much so, yeah? And that is the fact that you share it. Yeah. You put up your 
wife with a lot of love, your children. You want to celebrate your marriage, you know? And I believe a lot of people choose not to. And I'm not saying them people don't believe in yeah, yeah. evil eye and Nazar, and I get all of that, yeah. and I fully understand that and respect that. But I believe there's always a motive of people not putting up family members. Sometimes it's more personal for whatever reasons. But that, the fact that you do that, do you want people to know you're happy? Is it something that you get a satisfaction on where you post your wife and say, you know, my wife and my kids, and you show your daily life, you know, you're shopping, you're running around, mm. you're doing stuff that maybe is normal in the sense that you're, meant, you know, you're an artist and you live a different life. Yeah. But that side is very refreshing to see for um, me. That's nice to know. But you know what? You just said it, innit? I yeah. just put it up because I think it's normal. Like me... I'm not trying to, when I go shopping, yeah, I'm not trying to throw my wife in a carry bag while I'm at shopping. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm not going to hide my, like, yo, duck. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. It's absurd. It's shocking. Like, I'm not, I'm not looking, like, I know it's easy said than done. I know a lot of people's Instagram and a lot of people's social profiles are very colourful. Yep. And a lot of people are going for so much off of online. Of course. And I'm not saying go online and tell people what you're going through or go online and tell people what you're doing. Like, I'm not saying don't do that or do or do that. Yeah. But me personally, bro, like my wife's my wife. Like, I've got nothing to hide there. Of course. You know, she's my wife. I'm not looking to hide her and I'm not looking to show her either. Of course. You know, it's just normal. Natural, For me to yeah. get up and post a picture of me and my family, I'll post it up and you know, sometimes she don't she don't like it. Not like it, but she's like, Oh, you know, you don't have to do stuff like that. And of I'm course, like, yeah, cool. Yeah. I'm like I like that. Yeah. It keeps me humble. So I might drop one here and there. Yeah. But I know certain international brothers are trying to keep a life local. Absolutely, that's what I was playing at. Yeah. <laughs> and trying to keep a life. Like, yeah. Yo, locally they're cool. Going yeah. to Asda and getting caught. Yeah. Buying groceries. But that's normal. You're not getting caught. Yeah, of course. Yeah, exactly. Yeah? And then when they're abroad, <laughs> yeah. you know, there's someone else. Like me, fam. It is what it is. Yeah. Bro, no, legit. Don't get married then. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get married. Like, if, you're, if you don't want to get married, bruv, it's cool. Yeah. Don't get married. Like, I don't yeah, care I agree. if you're a musician or not. Bro, if you're not on that smoke, don't ask for that smoke. Like, don't get married. Don't play with people's lives, man. Like me. So true, yeah. i got kids. Bro, I'm, I ain't looking to... Yeah, I know how to chill. I know how to go out with my boys and, you know, have a good holiday. I'm down with all that. Yeah. But, bro, if you're not on that, don't get married. Like, legit. Marriage is not a joke. Of course. Absolutely you know? not. I'm not looking to hide nothing. That's a job on its own. Of course. See, the reason I said that is because... Being fake. The reason I said that to you, bro, was because I relate to that. So I'm, you know, again, same as you, I put on my life in the things that I want to show, right? Yeah. And I believe I've got no motives. I'm happily showing that stuff, right? And I'm speaking on behalf of Seth as well. Of course, same, yeah. we're all the same, so we're all in the same boat here. Yeah. And the reason why I respect that, bro, is because a lot of people that I know, without mentioning no names, they prefer not to. Yeah. But their actions won't go with their words, yeah. you know, so... Moving on from that, I just thought, you know, I wanted to have your view on it of why I think it's, a, it's admirable to know that you think like that. Yeah, it's, it's normal, man. I feel like, bro, I'll be honest, my family, bro, people like, like my family more than me, man. Yeah, yeah. It makes yeah. me happy. Yeah, yeah love exactly, it. Yeah. Oh, boy. So you got three kids now, bro, mashallah, yeah. yeah? Two boys and a girl. Zion is the oldest, is going to be 12. Yeah. Mia's going to be 11. Amelia's going to be 8. So that's oh, Amelia's a bundle of joy, yeah, man. She's crazy, man. So what if your son goes to you tomorrow? Dad, you know what? I want to be an singer. Yeah. Honest, hand on heart, what would your answer be to that? I'll be honest. First of all, I can't stop these kids from doing what they want to do. In terms yeah, of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just that, that's like me and I never got permission. Yeah. So if they're asking me for permission, that's a good start, isn't it? Of course, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, well, he's too smart. Yeah, yeah, he's too his smart. answers, bro. Oh my god, I'm gonna ask me for yeah. permission. Yeah. I'm gonna grant them the permission, isn't it? Of course. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say, yeah, you can, but can you keep me informed? Of course, yeah, 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 of course. Just let me know what you're doing. Like, study, do what you're doing, but keep me informed, man. Of course. Like, my kids are like my mates. They know, obviously, That's when like I switch. Be, yeah. yeah, bro, I, like, I'm telling you now, like, and I'm not, look, I'm not looking down on people that didn't have a great relationship with their parents. You know, some parents are mega strict. Yeah. Like, the yeah, only thing course. you see is beeps. Like, I yeah, get that. you got to chill yeah. out, man. Like, stop yeah. being a mad youth then. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Be more loving. I, I believe your energy should be should come from what you're what you do like if you're full of love then watch what you get back 
Yep, agreed. You know, like even my dad, bro, like my dad's strict and I'm not saying that my whole life I've been all great, but I bust a few jokes with my dad, like of I've course, got a yeah, normal yeah. relationship. Yeah. You know, I told my dad the other day when he came back from Bangladesh with an orange beard. I'm like, who the hell gave you? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do this stuff at this age. Mendy, what, what are you doing? Man look like Scarface, you know, like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, I told him off. No, of course, and he yeah. Goes, oh, oh, oh. Like, what are you doing, man? <laughs> no, like, you know, it's good to have, yeah. like, just a relationship. Like a relationship. A relationship, yeah. No exactly. one wants it to be the best one. Yeah. Let it be a, have a some eight. sort of relationship though, at least yeah so i'll let them do what they're doing obviously bro come on man if they're gonna ask me do they want to do if they want to get into that world best person to ask isn't it come on of course yeah 100%. they're I gonna remember, ask me to do yeah. something girls so i'm like talk to yes yeah i know i remember you <laughs> was telling me you said your daughter's got a really good voice as well. oh man she's bro I, amazing. I have all of them amazing, yeah? she's the singer out of all of them yeah I amazing she would start singing absolutely amazing mumsy at that point my bro it's been an absolute pleasure Definitely. Man, Thank yeah. you very much for giving us your time. I know how busy you were. Nice. And no, we appreciate we honestly it. really, really appreciate it. So a big shout out to Coco's Restaurant for letting yeah. us use their amazing place. Really, really appreciate it, guys. So make sure you check out Coco's Lakeside. Definitely. Coco's Tower Bridge. The link will be in the bio, in our description below. Yep. So, Mumsy, one last message with you for you and your fans who've been watching this. It's been good, man. It's nice to do. Like, I think your podcast is great, man. I've been oh, thank you, I appreciate that. It's bro. really good, and I hope yeah. you guys, you know, get you know, get in touch, guys. Anyone who's been li listening to this, <laughs> get 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 in touch and you know, on, definitely good questions. It's yeah. nice, you know what it is. I've not done a lot of podcasts, yeah. But um, for everyone that's listening, you know, I hope it encouraged you, or you know, it gave you a bit of insight on my my life. Yeah, you know? of course, and yeah. I think you guys hit a f quite a few key questions there. So big love to everyone. Thank you for supporting me. Can't believe I'm still here doing what I'm doing. <laughs> Getting a few grey beard hairs. Beard so, May it continue, bro. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Inshallah. Love. Big Inshallah. love to everyone. My brother, yeah. thank you so much. Easy. God bless love you. Love bro. Thank you very much, man. Guys, and thank you for watching Pod Goals for us. Thank you, guys. It was our first ever episode. I think Brilliant. it went really well, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it was fantastic. Amazing. Bro. A lot so of fun. You, <laughs> so if you liked what you saw, please make sure you like, share, subscribe, and make sure you hit the bell notification so you don't miss none of our uploads. Peace. Thank you.